So I'm going to just make sure that the surface of my wolf is smooth where I want it to be smooth so that I can think about drawing in the features more clearly and giving it some texture. I also want to make sure that those ears are pressed down and the snout. You'll see that I've already drawn in the bottom of his snout. And now I'm going to look carefully at my picture. Now I won't be able to put too much detail in, make sure I've got a clean bit there, but I ought to be able to put some detail in. Now the way that I've found this works best is to draw a line and then quite often I will smudge it a bit and then draw it in again. And that allows me to take the clay off. But you have to smudge it back in and then draw again. It's just the way that this method works. And I'm just drawing in those lines from before. Let's draw in the ears. Not quite right, not a problem. Smudge it over. Keep your hands clean, it will help. And then you've got this haunch that needs to come down. That's our tummy there, tummy of the wolf. And then I'm just going to add the last little bit, which is a few bits of fur so i want to put some of these marks on just a few and just check that everything is working in the way i want it to you will find that as it dries it can be a bit easier to go back and just sort out any i think that's gone a bit wet now i'm gonna to have to wait for that to dry for a moment just leave it at that so what I'm going to do is just go and check to see if I've got little bits like that that are dropped on that need taking off little dry bits quite often around the edges make sure my hands are clean and just give those one last wipe and that is the clay tile with the wolf ready to dry and then ready to be painted.